Hey gang, I just finished up The Last of Us, rated M. Now I need a spirit cleanser, so let's try out Bible Adventures for the NES. Good stuff. Now I chose the David and Goliath adventure because according to these ancient hieroglyphics, it's rated 5 stars. What is this? So the water bottles are your health and you have to carry the sheep to the end. Could be better. Let's enable God mode to the game profit. Dang it! This game follows the story of David and Goliath, where David is bringing food for his brothers when they're fighting the Philistines, when, uh-oh, Goliath arrives. Goliath is making fun of the Israelites, and David isn't very happy about this, so know what he does? He wants to go fight him. And then, the king is like, oh, whatever, you go ahead, because he really wants someone to fight Goliath. The king had David try on some armor, but it didn't really fit very well, because he was, you know, tiny. So he just decided to go in his own clothes, because he had a lot of faith in God that God would protect him. So he went to a stream and he got five smooth stones and he has a sling so he could wind it up and hit Goliath. Which, guess what? It works out. He hit Goliath in the face and he fell dead. Now the best part about the story is that David picks up Goliath's sword and chops his head off. And then, boom, that's the end of the story. Wait, where's Goliath? Now, overall thoughts on David and Goliath? Could be better. Now let's move on to Save Baby Moses. This one is more of a game and is by far my favorite game in Bible Adventures. I have concluded that this game is very easy. Never mind. Not again. Works every time. Wait a second. Have you ever wanted to play Yoshi's Island four years before release? Here you go. Nintendo copied from Wisdom Tree? This game isn't The Last of Us, which means, even though it's my favorite game, this game is... <coughs> Let's move on to the final game, Noah's Ark. Yeah, I don't think I'm a big fan of Noah's Ark. So, you grab two of each animal. Yeah, I didn't beat this one. Now, maybe I can learn to beat this one thanks to cheating! Oh, it's all pointless. Now, overall thoughts on Bible Adventures as a whole? The game is bad, it isn't The Last of Us, the controls are terrible, and... It's unlicensed! <laughs>